this is part one of a very long video. A very long video that will ultimately finally give me real answers for what's the cost of solar and storage together and what's the break-even analysis between solar and storage. How much does it really cost? I'm watching too many videos about batteries. Well, not that many. About batteries being the answer to everything. And maybe, absolutely, of course, of course. Uh, oh, if you saw me right now, I'm throwing my hands around and I'm doing kind of idiotic things. But we're going to, at the end of the day, for once, I'm going to get an answer instead of just a bunch of BS with some uh, 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 BS with some. <laughs> I'm going to make this a separate video. I just thought of it. Uh, 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 we're going to get a real answer instead of just going through technical thing. How do you make a scenario analysis? How do you make a drop down box? How do you do a dispatch of loads? How do you account for the uh, a depth of discharge? How do you uh, 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 account for different patterns of load? Now, what I've done is made a scenarios where I put using normal distributions on other things, different kind of loads. And I can take a load that looks kind of like this, this flat, flat off peak. And in the first, uh, the, the, the next video, I talk about how to make these things. And then I use an index function and you don't care about an index function, maybe to show you how you get the different uh, uh, patterns. So if you want to study these, of course, go into the next videos. I find it really interesting. And then we take that load, and, and I was going to, my suggestion was to make it really, really simple. Just make 24 hours. Don't go crazy with month by month or year by year. Just get the answer for 24 hours, which is totally wrong. Because if it's got three, if you have three cloudy days, you've got to get a big battery if you want to really not uh, avoid any any kind of usage, and you've got to get a really big uh, solar. But part of this analysis is being able to go through and figure out how much power is inside a battery, and make sure that after a day we're just charging it for a day, and we're just evaluating with different loads so this is uh, uh, how much of a battery we do we need compared to 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 fill up that load and then the next thing i do is also go through hour by hour solar and i use uh, malaysia but it doesn't matter and for the hour by hour solar i demonstrate how we can use different solar days and see what happens uh, uh, to to our solar uh, uh, pattern. And if we have different, uh, and I compute different capacity factors for the day. This is for different years and different months. Whoops. Well, this is different days in the month, excuse me. And this is different years. Uh, okay. Hmm. And it wasn't for different years. It doesn't matter. There are different shapes. I put the shape of the solar power here. And then I'm going to, instead of, I've gone through this and, and, and spend a whole lot of time with my friend Max on this. And I go through this and I try to say, look, uh, uh, what's our total capital expenditure for alternatives? And we start with just solar just a battery because each of these has different lifetimes, different degradations, different uh, 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 tax treatments, perhaps. Each of these has a different, that results in a different carrying charge and a different adjusted operating cost. So we get some data, we throw it into our really detailed LCOE calculator, and then we get the result. And now let's talk about the results, okay? And you can see that in the, in, in the, this is the first video. There's a second one that goes through all the analysis of loads and storage balances. 
And then there's a third video that says, let's make some sensitivity analysis, which I think is so absolutely essential. We'll make some sensitivity analysis, which is, is really the reason to make models. And then we'll... Uh, uh, and, and then we'll get the from our detailed and I go through crazy I go crazy with coloring where things come in from and where they go out from and different sheets different colors blah. and that let's now let's talk about the results finally so if let's start with a a, a, a perfectly flat load Okay, and if we have a perfectly flat load, we could then, uh, uh, the way I set this up is, is we could do a few things. We could put all thermal. We could put a solar project in just to meet that flat load. It, using this, uh, 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 using this load. Now, when I change this, you can see how the solar load is is changing if we get a solar capacity factor of 24 percent after a performance ratio and adjusted for the the standard testing condition so we have to understand how solar works for this as, as well then we would need in order to meet that flat load which is 1000 megawatts over the whole day with uh, uh, 24 1000 divided by 12 or this much for hour by hour, we would need this much battery power, kilowatt hours, and this is without considering the depth of discharge. And uh, uh, then we would get some, if we add these two together, we get some from charging the battery and some from discharging the battery. If we went to the thermal route, then we would have to pay some fuel costs and we would have to put all of our thermal capacity in. And depending on what the price, in this case, I use natural gas with a really low heat rate, we can get the price of natural gas. And then we get our, our capital costs. And then we do the big thing, which is to say, OK, for our solar plus battery, let's add these two together. We could also make a solar plus only thermal, and we can compare the capital expenditures we need, the O&M costs we need, and ultimately divide that by how much power we're, we're needing in all cases, which is our 1,000 per day with different load shapes. And if we do this, we can say, well, if the thermal, if the gas price is, or diesel price is high, and we'd have to put the heat rate in, then the solar plus battery is winning, but the best case actually is solar plus thermal. Leave out the battery. And that's what we're doing for one day. The elephant in the room is, of course, we, this, this, it's a lot more complicated when you have many, many days, but then you can just extend the analysis. And it's very, very difficult to make batteries purely work, and you can then go much more advanced and say, okay, we'll put some batteries in, but we need just a little bit of dispatch and that little bit of dispatch is very controversial because that natural gas can produce methane blah 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 okay so that's our and, and it, we can change the so uh, as i said before we can change the solar pattern per day and uh, uh, i'm uh, showing it to you here and i'm not changing the date correctly on this but i'm gonna fix that after we have that's a minor little thing I don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good all the time okay but it is pretty close i think okay now if you if we if we have everything on peak uh and then uh, and again that's this load i i almost should uh make a little graph of this and I, I realize now I should show you the load graph right below here, and maybe I will. Then the big result is the solar and the battery wins. And if we can make the battery have a longer life, it wins by more. Uh, if we can have a lower degradation on the on the battery, that should have uh, a, a lower degradation. I have something else in that scenario, obviously. 
uh, uh, maybe I have a longer battery left. No, I, I, I should be comparing this to the base case. Okay. Uh, then we get a, that's the effect of having a lower degradation. And we can incorporate an in the detailed, uh, uh, in the detailed analyses that I've given you, we put these in. And if we can get a lower cost of capital, well, it affects the solar and the battery more, and this is still winning. Now, however, when we start to get it a little more flat, then the solar and the thermal is, is a more economic alternative, and we're back to the very flat. And then when we go to the off-peak, then unfortunately, because we have to put much more solar power to, to, to store, and because the battery is still expensive, the, the battery starts to not be quite quite as efficient and then we oh, it not be and then it, when we put round trip efficiency in be, uh, because we've got to get more solar power to store this then it starts going up a lot and if we put depth of discharge in it goes up and if we put both then unfortunately it, it it's not a good alternative and if we go back to our Shaped loads, well, it's kind of now about the same as the solar plus the thermal. And for once, instead of just going through the technical details, I wanted to give you some results that I think are, are, are reasonable. And I incorporate everything from the way the cost per kilowatt of a battery is affected by how much, what the duration of the battery is. So if we have a a, a, a flatter load and we need more kilowatt hours relative to the kilowatts that's reflected in this analysis and I hope it's pretty comprehensive so this is the introductory video and of course you can if the fuel cost is a lot less then the, the alternatives change and I hope this illustrates the real economics of storage number one Number two, I hope it illustrates the some of the techniques ranging from the BS coloring stuff to incorporating the 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 different loads to incorporate to incorporating a a little bit of a storage balance and moving the 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 day by day stuff around and importantly how helpful sensitivities can be, how you can grab data for the solar, and it's got a lot more in. And then we had to make a little uh, uh, equation for the, for the batteries. And I'm, I, I've made too many videos on batteries because I, I, I can't get in my own mind what the real cost of this stuff is. We know just how efficient solar is. Can the battery come down you can use this you could put different battery costs in and you can watch the details of the videos which i would hope would help you in not only the thinking and, and working through some of the characteristics and the uncertainties associated with batteries but also some of the uh, modeling techniques